have a few chores to take care of before we actually do some building, but that's okay because I think uh, it's been a long time since we've walked around in the world. And so I think we will head over to the bulk storage in the swamp and we will pick up some dirt because we're going to need a lot of dirt. And then we're going to go uh, south and we're going to um, fix up the path that I was working on last time. And hi, by the way, if you're just tuning in, then this is the Citadel. And my name is Joel Duggan. This is a survival multiplayer server where my friends and I hang out and do some geeky stuff in Minecraft. And I'm taking a stroll through uh, a very open path. I don't know if there's any gas around here. I should probably... Oh, hey, look. Last time I was in the nether, there was three gas just kicked... How did... No! Hi. Just... Come on. Apparently I suck at Minecraft. I'm glad this is made of stone. So the last time I logged in, there was three gas in the, in the nether and it looks like that was two, right? Right one after the other. Let's go get this stuff. Did they drop any tears? No, just gunpowder. I've got more gunpowder. Oh, there was a tear. I've got more gunpowder that I know what to do with, but I do try to, to snag the gas drops if I can. Now this is gonna be tricky. How do I get back in here? Probably over here. Obviously, this is all very much under construction. I don't come in here on video very much. Uh, but this is the way to the swamp, uh, the witch farm, and the beacon mine that I have going on. <laughs> Cosmic Dancer says, and that's why she doesn't go in the nether. Yeah, that this section is is the section that I use a lot because it's it goes to my swamp base, so I haven't covered it up. But all the other sections are pretty covered. Kind of like this, you know, like it's pretty protected. Um, but we'll just go through here. And there's so much work to do over in this space. I don't even know where to start. We're not going to do anything right now, but um, I have a lot of things that I want to change. But uh, while we're here, what I want to get is I want to fill up my turf box with uh, coarse dirt. And is that on a... That was weird. I thought that... I thought that kind of floated in the air, but it actually was on the corner glass. That's kind of a cool effect, actually. Uh, what am I saying? I need just dirt and coarse dirt. Well, I know we have a lot of dirt. So I can fill this up. No sweat. And then from there, I'm going to need gravel, which is where? Here. think that should be enough. Let's just see here. Oh, the old inventory bug. Oh, that's dirt. I want coarse dirt. So let's just fill that up. So we'll need another four stacks. It's not going to be too bad if I have extra in my inventory either. I'm sure it will all get used. Yeah, let's just craft what do we have left here. Because we have a new data pack on the server, it's something that I, I picked up from Vastin, my play over there. We now have dirt slabs. So if I do this, we get these little guys. So these are coarse dirt slabs, and what they are, they are a retextured petrified oak slab, which has been in the game forever. Uh, but because it's not used, you can't craft it in survival. You have to use a data pack to create a recipe for it. Uh, I decided to reassign the texture for the petrified oak slab to coarse dirt. And so we can't break it with a shovel. We have to use a pickaxe for anybody else that, that tries this. Uh, but it allows you to have um, slabs in dirt, which is going to be awesome for our paths. And we're going to be using those a little bit later. Let's put the gravel back because we don't need it right now. Is this full? No, this is just, just that one chest of gravel. Interesting. Okay. Um, we can put this back here. I think that was all I needed. I feel like I need to check my other stone boxes and stuff though while we're here. I keep meaning to create like a proper stone box. So I know we've got tons of stone. Can refill this with some stuff there. I feel like we can just maybe make some stone bricks as well. Uh, hmm, glass, 
thought one of these was like full of ah there we go the magenta one i need to recolor this to the right color right so let's put some more smooth stone in here whoops i just noticed the last time that i played i was i was running out a lot of the stuff and i had to kind of go back and forth so we'll just do this uh do i need i don't need slime i don't think we need redstone or uh, let's just take let's just take some glowstone just in case and i think that's it i don't think anything else that i have out here is needed do i have wow let's take we don't need all that out here Let's just leave maybe 12. We'll take that back. That's a lot of lapis. Um, hmm. Don't think there's anything else I need for this path. Everything else is going to be wood or brown or stuff like that. So, okay, let's go back this way. Happy Blizzard Day. That's right. That's right. It's uh, it's snowing. I was going to I was going to scream later today. Uh, but because I lose power quite often this year, uh, I thought I would get this out of the way first. So I thought I would walk and talk because, uh, we, we've made some headway on some of the plans. I've been working on the texture pack and I'm really trying to keep myself from changing everything. I only want to change the things that I think really need some changing. Uh, and I've been updating some people on Discord over the last week or so with uh, some of the changes that I've been making. A lot of it is heavily influenced by Jermsy Boy's um, texture pack, a uh, little taste of germ, and of course the Vastin stuff that he does. But also been looking at what Fwip is doing uh, on um, on his server, or not server, but I guess his, his single player wor world building with Fwip. Uh, so the first thing you'll notice is that I think this might be the first video that I've done with the new wheat texture. And this is a too high wheat texture. And I changed the color a little bit just because uh, Jersey Boy's texture pack is very medieval and very specific. So things tend to be a little bit more muted and it looked kind of funny in my mostly default Minecraft world, but, uh, but being sort of gray. So I added a little bit more of a golden hue back into it. I might've overdone it. I might, I might dial it back a little bit. Uh, and I feel like Fwip has got his just a little bit softer, but for now, I think it looks really cool. I also changed the, uh, the wheat our Haybok texture to match this. So it looks like it's it's bundled up uh, of the same material. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And I got to tip my hat to Germ. The too high wheat texture, it just kind of makes you think, Mo Yang, why didn't you do this in the first place, right? Like the, the single high stuff, it looks okay, but this stuff looks so much better. It gives such a, a, a deeper feel. Um, something that I also learned um, from watching Fwip uh, and this is a pro tip of the day. Wheat will grow on farmland without water next to it. I, I can't believe I didn't know this. I've been playing Minecraft for like two years. I thought all farmland had to be hydrated for stuff to grow, which is why I've got these little, like that hides a water source and that's got a pond underneath it. And there's like a little pond over here, right? And all these things are here on purpose to hydrate the land. And all it does is make the wheat grow faster. It, it'll still grow even if it's on normal farmland versus hydrated farmland i didn't know that uh, i mean granted i do like the color of this better but still like i all that trouble to put those water sources in there and i didn't have to do it <laughs> oh it's too funny so we're heading down this way to work on this area here and i've made a couple of other changes along the way uh the first one you're gonna it's it's hard to notice because we didn't use it that often but i went ahead and i just took the the gravel texture the default beta 3 gravel texture and i took the purple out of it it didn't take very long i just used a photoshop filter and just said look i want this to be more gray so it's exactly the same texture all the pixels are exactly where they're supposed to be i just took the the weird purple hue out of it and i feel like it just works a lot better uh in places like this where we've used it more often um, grass is still very bright green, but I don't, I don't know if I want to mess with that. Um, and last but not least, the, uh, the other big change, uh, is, is the, uh, the sugar cane. 
Uh, it looks, it still looks bright, but you know what? Sugarcane is pretty bright. Uh, it's just that it's not the neon bright that uh, Minecraft defaults to. Uh, if I had a piece of green glass on me, you'd see just how bright uh, Minecraft sugarcane really is. But this, this is the, the progress that we've made so far on the sugarcane field. I had someone ask me on either a comment or maybe it was on the Discord um, about the progress that we've made. So a lot of what I've done off camera has been just planning the lines. So you can see there's kind of like this more, it's a smoother line to it. So that's the edge of the field going this way, uh, heading out towards um, Somerville, which is Cosmic's farm, or not farm, village. So I haven't quite decided when I'm going to do this. It's pretty tedious. So it's one of those things that I might just kind of do at the end of the evening. Kind of go from there. And thanks, Cosmic Dancer. Yeah, I like I like the the sugar cane. I think it looks a lot better too. Um, and then this this bridge uh, is temporary. We're going to turn this into something nice. But when I was flying over, uh, oh hey, look, here's an opportunity to use some slabs just for now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get this in here. Yeah, I mean. We're not going to leave this dirt, but still pretty cool. So up here, I was walking and looking at this path and realized that as much as I as work as I put into this, it's kind of boring. It's pretty wide. It's a pretty straight line. You don't really curve as much as you want to, or I want to. But I finished it off and I took it all the way to um, the village down here in the south. And right away, you can see that uh, it's just a lot easier to get a, a a more natural feel down this way there was more things to work around there was more curves to make there was more obstacles to deal with i carved out some of this a little bit uh, so it's got this nice kind of like zigzag to it and the whole time i was thinking you know why was i not having as much fun with the other part of the path and it's because there wasn't as much in the way so i think what we need to do with the the northern part of this path is arbitrarily put stuff in the way. So you can see right here at the top of this hill when I turn around, it's a pretty fun reveal of the the church. So like if you come around this hill, you just, you kind of get this kind of reveal of what you're heading to. But if we extended this hill and really pushed it, so instead of coming down this path where I think you can see the church the whole way. Yeah, so rather than getting the church here, I thought we'd push the path off in this direction. And if we follow this cobblestone and have something like this, have a hill here block this whole thing, then when you come around this way is when you'll see the church here. And then you'll be able to walk towards it. You'll get this kind of like view of the path here and then go on that way. So I'm way more interested to see what I can do with a path that goes around that way. I know we've been, been uh, building a lot of paths, but you know what? It's fun. I, I quite enjoy it. Um, it's, it's chill. It's definitely an easy way to get some progress done. Paranor says, I like what you integrated uh, of the texture pack from Vastin. Thanks. I haven't done a whole lot. I want to I wanna pull in more. Uh, I've got, hold on, where's my texture pack? Options, resource pack. So what I did was I have this little texture pack called Joel's Journ Picks. And I, uh, I picked a bunch of things to pull over and some of it's real subtle uh, like it like the chests ender pearls are no longer green they're purple uh ender chests have got a purple eye on the front oops didn't mean to drop my rockets so instead of this being green and gold it's a purple thing with a purple eye i even toned that down a little bit like i just tried to mess it mess around with it a little bit um Actually, I shouldn't say that. I toned this down, but I brightened this up. The the thing with uh, Germs Pack, it's it's fantastic, but it's it's muted, and so when you bring in some elements into default Minecraft, they stand out. So I've had to kind of like, you put on my cartoon hat and and bring kind of Germs Pack a little bit uh, more saturated and stuff um, for the little things that I've I've borrowed from him. Um, and I'll, I, I believe that there's a default link to Germsy Boy's uh, texture pack and stuff like that in my, uh, in the notes underneath my YouTube video. So if you're, if you're wondering, you can always check it out there. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we need to just kind of like take a good chunk out of this path, 
and just say, okay, it curves and goes this way. And we'll say that maybe it stops like right here, like that. And we'll have something else here. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out so we're not confused and don't have two lines going on. Get rid of all this. I forgot when I picked up all that dirt that I'm also gonna be um, obviously um, getting new dirt <laughs> as I sculpt the landscape here. Let's see if I can get this in before the sun goes down. Probably not. Uh, let's just put a bed here and we'll do uh, this and crafting bench, setup shop. Yeah, we're gonna expand either the hill or plant trees or something. Uh, but essentially what I wanna do, I don't know if this is gonna be here actually, this is probably gonna stay flat, but I liked this kind of curve. So I think I'm just gonna kind of continue that. So we've got one, two, three, and then I think we'll go two there to take some of this stuff out. Do another two here and then one, two, three. And I think that's probably going to be how we roll. Uh, we need our turf box. Let's just get some goodies in here. Grass, coarse dirt, dirt. So I am gonna lay it down as path block first, but the other thing I wanna to do today is make sure that I do actually get um, a different different color to the path. I don't want this to be just a grass path. Um, so I like that, but I think we're gonna take this down at an angle. So we'll do that. And so maybe this will be like this and then Whoops. Yeah, and then we'll go over this way. And maybe add something there. And we'll just kind of arbitrarily fill this up a little bit. Yeah. So I'm thinking there's going to be probably trees or something up here to block the view. Even just one tree would probably work. Ah, are my game sounds turned on? I don't think they are. Hold on. Thanks for the reminder. Always fun when you forget essentials of streaming. Okay, so we've been going down, that's one, that's two. Actually, let's go out another, let's go out three here before we go down. Maybe even another one. So it's one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we can maybe come back in here. I do want to try to get as low as I can. Like I like this, this height here. Don't think I want to go down that low, but so fill a lot of this stuff in. So we'll have this kind of come down and curve. Feel like maybe we need to do that. Uh, 
And then the other side, we'll have to push that out a little bit too. So I like the width here, but I like that we should probably narrow it down. Maybe we'll just take this out by one more. Hey, there's Fix It. How's it going, my friend? Yeah, that's not bad. I'm thinking maybe pull that back. Or maybe the other way around. It's pretty good. I think maybe we just need to get rid of this. Yeah. All right, cool. So from here, I think we want to have this kind of bulk out just a little bit. Maybe not completely straight. And we'll have to come up with something to put kind of here. I'm thinking another tree. Might try to get another large tree in there. You getting a lot of snow, Paranor? We're, we're getting flurries here. It hasn't really started yet. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so I like, I like this curve that's going on here. So we'll just kind of get rid of these. And I think here is where I really want to make sure that we can get a nice transition from a wider path to a more narrow path. Because this quickly goes down to like three wide. And I like that a lot better. So I think coming around this way... Let's see if this is going to be the way up. Like that. That means that this is probably going to be like that. So I'm trying not to change too much. Kind of, kind of go with the landscape as best I can. Yeah, so then maybe at most it's going to be like four wide. I really wish you can get your blocks back when you do that next to, to path block. It's kind of dumb that they just kind of sit in the ground and do nothing. Driving home from work last night was scary. It was raining crazy hard and the temps started to drop. Oh, wow. That's no good. Crystal Alpaca. I haven't seen you in a little bit. Welcome back. Good to see you. So I've got a question for the Twitch community, for anybody that might know, if, if there is a way without getting into um, bits, because that's currently donating, donating bits is the only way to make the chat room ding. Uh, and there's a timer on it, so it won't like be overdone, but um, I, I won't be able, like I don't, I don't necessarily see all questions in the chat. So I was talking about this with Cosmic Dancer uh, because of the art stream I did last week and we were trying to figure out a way to um, to get uh, my attention specifically on art cast when there's like a street uh, there's a question from somebody that might have like an art question or a process question and I don't see it right away uh, because um, I'm concentrating and I'm focused on what I'm doing because uh, a lot of time what I'm doing on stream is paid work so if anybody out there knows of a way to have uh, the stream ding at me 
like a plugin or something, then I would be very, very interested to hear and see the details. Yeah, I think maybe this has to be path. I think I maybe pushed that a little bit too far. Maybe we'll just pull it back to there. I want those back. Annoying, right? And we'll get rid of these little green bits underneath the stairs and stuff soon too. Uh, commands. I don't know if commands make a noise. That's a really good idea. And that Joel Duggan tag does not do anything. Fix it. No. And I don't know whether that's a Twitch setting or not. So that's the, that's the question of the day is how do I get alerts? Uh, Paranor says there is a way to create sound alerts. Ah, a command question. I will look at Nightbot Crystal Alpaca and try to see if there's a way to attach a sound to a question command. Because we could even shorten that. We could even do like a, an exclamation point, you know, Q. The thing is, like, if you type that in and then you type your question after it, does it still work? I don't know. Try another command, like try um, command uptime and then type after that or before that and see what happens in the chat. They won't show up on the YouTube video because I've got commands muted for that, but but they'll still. Um, um, you uh, you might be able to drop a link, Paranor. If not, you can get Cosmic Dancer to do it because she's a mod. I don't have links open. I used to, um, but they I had some spam issues, so I had to stop. Um, yeah, you know what? Okay, we'll fix these stairs later. I do want to have this curve a little bit more in, so we'll maybe take it in there and then out there. I just want to have a little bit of a snake to this. Oh, wow, that's ugly. Let's not do that. I just don't want it to be straight, which is exactly what it is right now. I guess maybe we have to do... more of that and then have it come in on the side hey i'm a fly is just shooting all kinds of silly things at me let's do this right back at him uh no i'm streaming and working on the South Meadows path. Wow, I'm a forgetful person today. I did not tell Alistair I was streaming, which is bad. I should have done that. And uh, I did not, um, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't turn on the game sounds either. So forgetful, Joel is forgetful. What if I did that? Yeah, that's not too bad. It's a little bit straight. What if I did this? I think I just did that, but no, I prefer that. And then maybe, maybe we just do this. Nope, that's really straight, isn't it? I think the issue is that this is throwing me off. There we go, that's better. Let's build this up a little bit just to kind of make it feel like it's a, a gully of some sort. Yeah, digging that. So I'm curious for people in the chat, um, is this kind of thing, you know, interesting to you? Do you like seeing the landscaping stuff or, or does it, does it get a little bit boring after a while? Curious. So I've gone ahead and made that even more straight. Awesome. Not what I wanted to do. Nope. Immediately after I did that, I knew that that was not a good idea. So let's take this out this way a little bit. I think maybe that's the problem.
I like putting on, I like putting an edge on some things. So let's maybe do that. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe we can do something fun with this. Create some sort of little gully or something. Hey, Alistair's in the chat too. Alistair is, uh, says that landscaping is good for him because it still needs to learn how to do it outside his castle. Sweet. You and I need to do that too. I know that we started doing that one time. Um, started helping Alistair out with a path outside of his castle, but uh, we never did finish it. Yeah. It's kind of a funky little shape. All right, so I think we've we've made some headway there. I'm liking that. Uh, I don't yet know what I'm going to do in here. I don't know if I'm going to plant some low trees or if I'm going to make this more of a hill. But I do know that I don't want to be able to see the church from here. Uh, or, or at the very least, I want people to be looking where they're going. So they're going to be seeing like a tree or something here which we can probably just plant while we're working, which makes sense. We can always try something a little bit fun. I think, oh, that's the wrong one. The tree box is green, right. Do sapling and I'm gonna try something here. I actually, you know, I, I had dirt slabs on me. I don't need that. I don't need more stuff. In my inventory right now. Um, I think if you put a slab next to a sapling, then it'll force it to grow big like this. So we'll figure out what's going on. Uh, where do we want this? Ali Jar is now following and my stream emotes have been screwed up again. Thank you very much, OBS. I am really getting sick of OBS. I wish there was an alternative to stream for Mac that was free because it's a real pain. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and suggest that maybe we put a tree like right there. We can always maybe customize it a little bit, but so that those trees are blocking that. Yeah, I think that's probably the right way to go. So let's just do this. I think this is how this works. I think it's there. So we'll just let that tree grow and see what happens. And hopefully we'll get a monster tree.